All right, you know what time it is. Time to get a new book uh, for the shelf. So I've got uh, something new for you today. Today we're looking at Bringing Home the Rain, The Redemption of Howard Marsh, Book One, by Bob McGough. Uh, I would believe that's how it's pronounced, McGough or McGuff. All right, so this one, this is another one from the, uh, the Urban Fantasy subreddit. So we've got an author over there who uh, brought uh, his book uh, to my attention. I went ahead and picked it up. So let's talk briefly about it. Different than the others, this does not have a wrap cover. It's got sort of a singular um, image here. And I got to admit, it's a pretty neat looking image. It's a rather haunting, uh, looks like a deer uh, deer skull or a yeah, deer skull with antlers. And of course, those uh, beautiful white flowers. Um, let's uh, let's jump right in and read the uh, the blurb, shall we? Get a, little, uh, get a little background. Howard Marsh is a lot of things. A liar, a thief, a poor man's wizard. He's the product of a miserable county with more dirt roads than paved, where poverty and loss is the order of the day. He's a man haunted by his past and has yet to find any reason to try and piece himself back together. Where we find him is at the bottom, eking out a living as a water witch, a copper thief, a finder of lost things, living in a storage shed and trying to maintain what's left of the frayed relationships of the few family members who will still talk to him. Untrained, he uses the drugs to, that ravage his body to fuel his magic. Within these pages, Marsh will work to unravel two supernatural mysteries, as only a redneck wizard can, poorly, and with much cursing. In bringing home the rain, he has to piece together just why it hasn't rained in months within the bounds of a perfect circle just south of town. Is it a curse gone out of control, or the work of some fell creature? And in Dancing with Your Demons, he's on the trail of a missing woman whose infamous son once burned down a church. Is there a connection, or are there other forces at work? He's Howard Marsh, the methodician. He's a travesty, but he's the best hope Jubal County has. All right. I, I have never... It is a very unique uh, storyline, a very unique uh, blurb, so I, I have no idea really what to expect. Uh, I say we just dive in and read the first page or so and find out. All right. So we'll jump past the uh, work of fiction here. We'll jump past the introduction, and let's go right into Bringing Home the Rain, being the first tale in the redemption of Howard Marsh. All right. A conversation, conversation at the U store it. With a groan, I rolled up the door, up the door to my storage unit and stepped outside. The mid-morning sun was blinding compared to the utter darkness inside my unit, so I shaded my eyes with one hand and stretched deeply. A yawn forced its way past my stiffened jaw, causing it to pop painfully and was escorted by a sound echoing in my back. I didn't remember much from last night, but as I rubbed my tender jaw, a brief memory of a fist colliding with my face bubbled up. I decided not to think too hard on it. I had probably deserved it, and ignorance is frequently bliss. I'm a bit snarky. I'm a snarky shit sometimes, one of my many fine qualities that have so endeared me to my local community. The fall air was cool enough that I wished I had taken time to put on some clothes instead of stepping out in just my faded blue boxers, but I decided it was uh, too late now. I knew I made quite a sight, a short, wiry man with disheveled black hair and a few days' worth of stubble across my chin that danced along that fine line between rugged and rough-looking. A battered pair of glasses sat across the bridge of my oft-broken nose, held together with a bit of electrical tape. When I smiled, you'd notice more than a few missing teeth. But then, I had the sort of pale blue eyes that women seemed to like. A pair of untied combat boots loosely encasing my feet completed the look, a fitting match for the plethora of poorly done tattoos that dotted my body. I was a hot mess, but I had long embraced that fact. All right, cool. A very interesting opener. A uh, guy living in a storage facility. I have a feeling things are going to get uh, worse before they get better for this uh, this gentleman. So I tell you what. I say try it out. Give it a shot. You'll find it out at uh, Amazon and at uh, both in ebook and uh, and paperback. Uh, all right. So enjoy. Good luck and happy reading.